I'm going to show you how to add a post, update files, use form publisher, add and create blocks, create a new job opening, Cave Consulting, transforming the way you work. Hello, this is Taylor from Cave Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to use form publisher for Google Forms. First, you're going to want to open your form. After you've opened your form, you'll notice this puzzled piece icon in the top. You're going to want to click on that and then click on Form Publisher. From here, you're going to click Get Started, which will lead you to this pop-up over here. Now, if you don't already have Form Publisher installed, then you're going to want to click Get Started first, and then you'll have to click to allow permissions, and then run Form Publisher again. After that, you'll click Get Started once again, which will lead you here after clicking Start Setup. Once you get here, you're going to select Google Document. Selecting Google Document will create an automatic template by the form publisher, which you can edit or change later. This document would have mapped all of the fields from your form. Once everything here is the way you want it, and you can always come back and edit this later, you're going to want to click Next. This next page is where you can see and change where the document will be stored and where all of the merged documents or PDF documents will be located after submission. The default title will be the name of the template and the number of the form. Along with a Google document, this form will also add data to a singular Google Sheet. If you would like to add a link to the merged Google document in the Google Sheet that collects the form data, you can select Keep File URL. You can also select to keep a PDF copy in your drive. This will be separate from the Google document. Once everything is the way you want it here, you're going to click Next. On this page, you can add one or more people you would like the document emailed to. You will want at least one person to be selected. I'm going to add myself. If you would like to edit a document after the form has been filled out and sent to you, you're going to want to select Can Edit. If you don't want to edit after a form has been completed, then you don't need to do this. Once you've added the person, you're going to select Add. Once everything is correct here, you're going to select Next. Now you will be given the option to try your form. You're going to want to do this to see how it looks. Fill out the form completely and then click Submit. You can now go to the folder in which all of the completed documents will be stored. And here is the form that you just filled out. You can see here, everything that I filled out is where it should be. This is how all documents will appear. If you would like to customize how this document will appear, then you're going to go back to your form publishers folder. Next to your form, there should be a form publisher template. Now here on this template, you can change anything you'd like in terms of formatting. You can change anything as long as these remain the same. If you have a template that you would like to use, all you have to do is manually input all of the fields just as they are here onto the template that you already have set up. All form publisher templates will come with a timestamp, and so a date is unnecessary. Form Publisher has a limit of responses, and so if you plan to use this form more than a few times, you may need to purchase a paid plan.